Hey everyone, Nancy Danino here. It's a beautiful day and I thought I would take the time to show you all how easy it is to work out from home or outside or in the park. So really there are no limitations. It's funny because um, a lot of the emails that I do get are, you know, basically people always asking where do I find the time. Well, you know, time is, is really relative because we all have our shit and I always say that. Sorry, it's a little sunny out here, so I'm doing my best. We all, we all have our shit, so it's really about just prioritizing your tasks and making the time to fit in what's important to you. So, um, I'm gonna make it easy for you and a lot of people ask, well, do I have to go to the gym if I'm on your program? Absolutely not. You're gonna see right now I'm outside, I'm enjoying the beautiful day. I actually just finished my workout, but I'm gonna show you some of the things that I did today during my little booty workout that are simple. All you need is 15, 20 minutes um, to really just shape and tone and get your day started and get with your fitness goals. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about some of the things that I do. Another important thing I'm gonna talk about today is um, technique. Technique, technique, technique. I say it all the time. A lot of people always tell me, well, Nancy, I do a million exercises, you know, and still my booty doesn't tighten up or firm up or I can't reduce the fat or the cellulite. I want to talk about a couple things here, um, and I discuss this in my programs. So it's not about quantity, it's about quality. I really focus on technique. So technique, there's two techniques that I like to really use. I call it PPT and PT. So pause and hold and um, pause and pulse techniques. So when you do that and you actually take the movement and slow it down as opposed to just going up and down during a movement or executing the movement on a one count, I take the movement and put it on a one, two count or a one, two, three count going to the top of the movement or to the bottom of the movement. So I will demonstrate that now, but what that does is it actually isolates the muscle and it contracts, the forces a deep contraction into the muscle. So um, when you see that there isn't results, I think you need to switch up your workout a little bit and work with the tempos. And I do a lot of that. So I'm gonna show you a couple of exercises now mm -hmm, on this beautiful day. So bear with me if, if I get blown away in the wind. <laughs> so how easy is it to just take a band to add to the intensity of your workout? Okay, so again, you don't need weights, okay? All you need is a few at-home um, gym equipment. So I've got my little booty bands here, all different colors, all different elasticities and resistance. So they're so cheap to buy, I think like 20 or 30 bucks. So this is kind of like one of the items that I like to use at home. Okay, which we will be using today. And I also like to use resistance bands. Okay, like I said, all you have to do is tie them around your ankles and off we go. You can have a full workout right from the comfort of your own home. Hey, all right. So one of my favorite exercises that I'll demonstrate, and I know it's a common exercise, but the key is about the PT and PPT, which is pause and pulse techniques. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the green one today. Okay, so we are going to do hip thrusts, okay? And there's different variations that we can do with them. So we're gonna wrap them around. There we go. Back we sit, there we go. So all we have to do is when we lift up, okay? So typically we'd have one, two, one, two. What I'm saying for you to do during this exercise is to go up on one. One, hold for one, two, and come back down. Up on one, hold for one, two, and come back down. Another variation to this exercise is going up for one and coming back down on the, on the count of two. So we've got one, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. And then of course we would do that with the other leg as well. And yes, the resistant bands can roll all over the place. Okay, and that'll also work with double legs, okay? The 
this is one of my favorite exercises. And regardless of whether it looks easy or not, it concentrates on the muscle. So here we go. Up on one, hold, one, two, and down. Hip thrust up, hold, one, two, and down. Up on one, hold, one, two, up and down. Now we can even make this more difficult by increasing the resistance bands around your legs or your hips, or you can come around. Look at this, eh? Aren't I an acrobatic? Okay, we're gonna do hip thrusts off the bench, okay? So this makes it a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna go up on one, hold, down on one, two. Up on one, hold, down on one, two. And again, we can do this with both legs. Up on one, hold, one, two. Up on one, hold, down, one, two. And there we go. So as you can see, if you actually try this, I was actually going to getting a sweat there <laughs> because I'm squeezing so hard through the entire movement that it doesn't matter if I've done five, 10, 15, or 20. If you're just rushing through the movement, you're not allowing the muscle to contract and squeeze, okay? So that's very, very important. So tip number one, don't worry about quality. Sorry, don't worry about quantity. It's quantity over quality. And tip number two, focus on the isolation and the contraction of the muscle. Slow down the movement, hold and pulse at the top, hold it for two, or pulse down for two at the bottom. So it's a count of one up, hold for two at the top, and come back down. Or hold, go up on the top of the movement, and then release down on the reverse of the movement on two. Okay, thank you for joining me today for your fitness tip right at home. Bye.